Welcome back to Indiana Diecast Racing and the continuing action of the Final Fantasy Fracas. Today we've got groups 12 and 13 of round 2. Kicking off a rather eclectic group, it's Dino from Raw Sun God Racing in a Velociraptor. Dino's yet another top seated driver bringing 15 points into round 2. I begrudgingly announced the next driver not because he's from Down Squad Racing, but because he's driving an exquisitely painted Lamborghini Bonanno in a fantasy tournament. Well, I guess it's a fantasy for me because I'll never own one myself. It's Norm Peterson! Next up from Uncle Elvis Racing in a tournament unique Shadow Mark 2A, Gil finished runner-up to CG1 in round 1, and aside from a single DNF, never finished worse than second. Rounding out Group 12 from Miniature Car Racing, Vlad is driving his Grand Cross. In the first round, Vlad only put up 7 points due to a pair of DNFs, but did finish in the top 2 on both laps he completed. A Dino, Lambo, Grinch, and an Impaler. Kinda sounds like the start of a bad joke. Dino initially out front, but Norm pulls ahead as they enter turn 2. Vlad tries to double pass, but he doesn't get enough momentum to carry it. Dino slowly closing on Norm, and lap one is Norm, Dino, Gil, and Vlad. Those spoolheads crossovers are really fun. It's nearly impossible to tell who's going to come out in front until we're on our way to Hoth. The group favorites, not surprisingly, on top after one. Gil assumes the pole, Dino on the outside. Gil takes a lead into turn two, but Dino noses ahead and throws a block. Vlad rolls in the S section while Gil challenges Dino. Dino takes lap two just ahead of Gil and Norm Peterson a close third. While the other three battled in front, Vlad seemingly took Echo Base conservatively, and he exited weird, then ramped off the wall, unfortunately rolling and coughing up what probably would have been a point for fourth. With a pair of top two finishes from the front row, Dino moves into a one-point lead over Norm. Vlad moves up front for the remaining laps, and boy does he need to make good on it or what. He gets a solid push from Norm, but Gil is fast and on the inside of turn two. Norm slingshots around the outside of Echo Base and drives from fourth to second. Vlad is wrecked again. Gil and Norm dive for the line, and Norm makes a last minute overtake to steal the win. Dino spins out on the final straight, making this a double DNF. And that will sting like a raptor bite as that donut will really hurt Dino's chances with only one lap to go. Assuming Norm Peterson advances, he's going to be one to watch in future rounds, driving all the way from the back to claim the lap victory. Racking up his second lap victory today puts him back out front while Dino's DNF, which stands for Dino Not Finish, drops all the way back to third with one to go. Norm will start from the pole with eliminated Vlad on the outside. Everyone with a decent start, but Dino now starting to lag behind. Norm pulls away as the other three bunch up. Vlad in trouble, and Gil puts Vlad on his roof. Dino scrambling for a way around, but he finishes right behind Gil. On a lap that was largely meaningless to Vlad, he carried second place through Echo Base until Gil catches him and throws his weight and low front end of his shadow underneath Vlad, rolling him and creating a bit of a roadblock that wound up working in Gil's favor. Norm wins three out of four laps to take the group and Gil advances on the back of three consecutive second place finishes. On to Lucky Group 13 with Raggedy Man, a Wasteland product of home team Indiana Diecast Racing. The soldier of the Poxy Clips, 
breeze through round one in his lethal diesel with 15 points, he'll be sure to have enough runway here in round two. Rolling like a miles stone, miniature car racing's shiny green muscle bound won two laps and finished behind teammate Slingshot in round one. Representing the near-perfect Philippiac performance diecast, Rain is at the helm of an extremester and is another driver that finished three laps in the top two and took a DNF to place second in the first round. And here to increase the likelihood of chaos, Miss Barb is from Rust Belt Diecast Racing in the Monster Inc. Sully doppelganger that also has yet to finish worse than second when she doesn't DNF, which happened twice last round. Raggedy Man and Miles start up front, Rain and Barb in the back. Raggedy Man and Rain shoot off like cannons. Raggedy building a massive lead over Rain, Miles and Barb are miles behind. IDR flies to the win. Whoa! Rain saved by the safety wall takes second. Milestone is third, and Barb is away from keyboard. Looks like she wrecked at some point and has come to rest on the north side of the Savage Square. Even though the final straight is narrower than it used to be, a lot of cars seem to hit the wall just like rain, which is why we installed that safety barrier and so far it seems to be working. Four for the Raggedy Man, Rain in second with three, Miles third with two, and Miss Barb unfortunately kicks things off with a donut. Rain moves up front for lap two. Rain with a really strong start on that inside lane, but Raggedy Man whips around turn two to take the lead. There's Miss Barb, and this one's gonna be no contest. Raggedy Man and Rain go one and two again. Whoa! Rain wrecks across the line, but it doesn't matter. Three points is three points. Uh-oh, Barb is wrecked again in the square, and this time she has collected miles in the final turn. That outside lane really gets a huge boost to speed if a driver can just get past the uphill. And despite Rain's great start, Raggedy Man is able to overcome it for the win. Raggedy Man up by two, Rain solidly in second with six, while Miles and Barb really need a strong second half to avoid a blowout. And here's Barb's chance, but the points leaders are in that sneaky outside lane. They get way out front, whoa! Rain nearly ramps off the track, entering Echo Base. Raggedy Man dives inside, but Rain holds on for the win. And with the pair taking the top two spots, I gotta believe this one is over. Barb takes third, and this time Milestone is on his roof. I'm starting to think Rain's Extremester is just naturally inclined to jump the curb, because I don't think we've seen anyone do this since the track refurb. Sure enough, Raggedy Man and Rain lock up the top two spots. Lap four will be run just for points, as they do help decide groups in the next round. Miles and Barb up front, Raggedy Man and Rain in the back. Raggedy pushes Miles out front, Barb challenges, but she loses a ton of speed in turn two. Raggedy Man all over Milestone, and Miles will close out his tournament with a lap victory. And Rain pushes past a wrecked Miss Barb to take third. IDR and FPD bogart the points in group 13. As you can see, we've started a running tally for the teams who've made it to round three and the number of entries they've advanced. G4 and Vapor so far way out front with four apiece. Congratulations to Norm Peterson, Raggedy Man, Rain, and Gil. This has been Jim D for Indiana Diecast Racing. Be sure to check in next time for more slightly above mediocre diecast racing and the continuing round two action of the Final Fantasy Fraction.